Mercer got here just in the nick of time. What does that make us? Big damn heroes, sir. Ain't we just? I have to admit that I like a good conspiracy theory. It's the modern equivalent of the caveman sitting around the campfire and just making shit up as they go along. However, once in a while you run across a conspiracy theory that just doesn't pass the laugh test. And one of those is this one, the chemtrail. This is the notion that there are airliners and military aircraft flying around spreading toxic chemicals through the air on a daily basis. The reason being is anything from global depopulation by the New World Order to controlling global warming. Whatever the case may be, it's utter bollocks. Now I'm a professional pilot by trade. I've done this for decades. And I'm here to tell you there's no global conspiracy of a bunch of airlines flying around spreading poisonous chemicals. In the first place, there's no place to put these chemicals on the commercial airliners like the 747 seen in this picture here. The space in the airliner is at a premium and it's reserved for stuff that actually makes the money. There's no hidden compartments or anything like that where the CIA or anybody else would be able to hide anything. That's utter nonsense. And for those of you who think that the U.S. military could possibly be spreading these things, that is utter, utter nonsense as well. The U.S. military does not have enough aircraft to generate all the contrails you see on a daily basis. They just simply don't. The aircraft are tied down doing actual military work, and they're not flying about the country spreading poisonous chemicals. It's just not physically possible. What you're looking at in all of these chemtrail pictures are nothing more than contrails. Contrails are clouds that are formed by the combination of atmospheric moisture, heat and moisture from the engine exhaust, and the physical agitation of the aircraft moving through the air. In fact, you can see this agitation in the picture here in the curling of the plumes behind the aircraft. They contain water vapor and a few trace pollutants from the internal combustion engines on the aircraft. However, the conspiracy theorists say that these are different from regular contrails in that they can persist for long periods of time and spread long distances. This is nonsense. Contrails can and do persist for hours at a time and can literally stretch for hundreds of miles. This is not at all unusual. It just depends on the exact atmospheric conditions. I've seen this many, many times in my professional career. This aircraft is a subject of a video I'll link to uh, in the crotch bar. The aircraft in this picture is owned by Battelle Laboratories and it's reported to be a chemtrail aircraft. That is utter nonsense. This aircraft is a research aircraft that's being used for various atmospheric research programs by various civilian government agencies who contract with Battelle to provide the instrumentation plus the uh, uh, physical uh, aircraft itself to do various evaluations. And in fact, the study results are available online from public sources. Just Google them. Now, this wicked looking contraption on the side of the aircraft here is nothing more than the air intakes and exhaust vents for the various instrumentation packages on the inside of the aircraft. For example, these long metal cylinders here are known as venturi tubes. This is an old technology that's very familiar to any private pilot who passed his written exam. They provide suction, if you will, for air to move into or out of the aircraft depending on exactly how they're configured. These tubes here are literally nothing more than scoops and exhaust tubes to let air in and out of the various instrumentation packages. Now finally, let's take a look at the interior of the aircraft. We're looking down the entire length of the cabin and the small oval door at the front there leads to the flight deck. Notice that the entire interior volume is taken up by these instrumentation racks and laptop type computers. The two big orange ducts there are part of the supplemental air conditioning system that are listed in the specifications for the airplane to help keep the electronics cool. Now, if this is a chemical spraying aircraft, where are the chemical tanks? The answer is, there aren't any. If I'm your mission, Shepard, best give it up. You're welcome on my boat. God ain't.